everyone, I'm Jonas. And I'm Lewis. And welcome to JL Pokemon. And welcome to another episode of Cards of the Week. That's right, everybody. Cards of the Week. Today, I have Jirachi picked out. As you can see, I have all the different types of Jirachis we have. And Jonas is doing... Charizard. The one and only Charizard. Look at this. Careful. Charizard. 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 And Charizard. All the Charizards that we own. We have a couple more Charizards, but we're not going to look yeah. for them. <laughs> also, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. ding a ling a long a ling a long a ling a long a ling a long a long a long a long a long a long Get Make go. sure to ring the bell so you get notified yep. when new videos drop on the channel. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter at JL underscore PK M N PK M N dog. Make sure to follow us over on Twitter where you get updates and behind the scenes stuff. I know that we just took a picture, so uh, if you wanted some behind the scenes stuff, then. Uh, you could have just okay. saw it like a day earlier or something. I don't yeah, know. Maybe. So you could have seen a sneak peek of upcoming videos. So make sure you check that out. So we thought we did something, something different. A little special. We have this yep. nice Rayquaza coin right yep. here. And we thought that we would flip the coin to see who talks about their card first. I'm heads and Lewis is tails. I'm tails. Three, two, one. It's tails. It was tails, but I think we should just sort of playing. Yeah, we have we have right. more coins. We have more coins. You ready? Three, two, one. Tails. Well, looks Lewis, like are you talking about Jirachi first. Looks like I'll be talking about Jirachi, and I have this very sophisticated. <laughs> so how about a monocle. how about we get right into it? I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, guys, let's talk about Jirachi. Um, it made its debut in the one and only EX Deoxys set, and this this Jirachi was used pretty widespread in the EX format. It was basically a better Jirachi from Team Up. It allowed you to look at the top five cards of your deck and choose a card that you find there. Not a trainer, not an item, not a supporter, a card. Not an so energy. You could look, yeah, you could look at the top, no, even an energy. You could pick an energy. Yeah. Not, well, not just energies. You could pick any uh, card, anything, any, any card, card off the top want. five cards of your deck, which I thought was very good. It had a super amazing artwork, which you will be able to see on this corner right yep. here. So if you want to look at the artwork or pause it, if you want to read it over there to read the attack and stuff, because I'm not mentioning the attack is not very good. And also, yep. um, people would stop it with a card called Giraffe Rig, uh, which had an ability that said, no, not an ability, because back then there were Pokey Powers and Pokey Bodies, called yep. Rear Sensor, which allowed it so that your if your opponent's active Pokemon was a basic, all Pokemon powers would be blocked, which means Jirachi, EX Deoxys Jirachi would be shut off by that card. So that's probably one of its main downfalls in a time when Jirachi would just be like, come on, are you kidding? I can't play my Jirachi anymore. So that was pretty interesting. And also, there was another Jirachi that came out in the EX era, Jirachi EX, which came out in EX Crystal Guardians. It'll end... Um, it allows you to use less energy for each of your uh, opponent's evolution Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX on the bench. Yep. So for each of those, each less of those, you could have, you could just have an, a less attack cost, which allowed you to do your attacks faster. It also had a uh, an, an attack that called uh, Shield Beam, which allowed you to um, block Pokemon uh, powers and bodies in the next turn from your opponent. So that was a very interesting card and very cool. Now we did see another Jirachi. This was just another regular Jirachi from Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed, which was one sugar turn. You, may, you when you put Jirachi onto your bench, you may flip three coins, uh, with three coins, and with those three coins, you can attach a psychic energy from your discard to your Pokemon in any way you like. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, and attach it directly to Jirachi, which was cool. And with that, then you could also move it around with uh, Shaman, which I forget what Shaman does, but I know is when you put the card, oh, right. When you put uh, Shaman from your hand onto your bench, you may move any of your energy from any, any of your Pokemon to another one. So what you do, you, you would attach that all to Gengar Prime, and uh, you would use Gengar Prime to try to win the game by putting Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon in the last zone, 
which was a very a interesting. Blossom existed back then. Yeah, so that was a very well, very cool card, and it it was it was, we, everyone thought it was good, but it turned out to be pretty pretty mediocre. So how about we get into the next Jirachi with Jirachi EX from Plasma Blast. Got a lot it, of had, here. it had the ability Stellar Guidance, which was basically the exact same ability as Tapu Lele, which allowed you to, when you put it onto the bench, you could search your deck for a supporter card and put it into your hand. Now, this was a very interesting card a while back in Expanded, because what you did is you attached Island Challenge Amulet, which allowed your EX Pokemon to have 100 less HP, and that just knocked out Jirachi because it had such less HP. And what would you would do is you would bring your Pokemon down to such low uh, prize cards that you just reset stat them, turn one, and then, there we go, they'd be down to one card in their hand. And then you would use stuff like Jesse and James to get there. So you would play uh, Lieutenant Surge's uh, strategy, I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. And you, so you could play multiple supporters. And then you Jesse and James and you Mars and you do all that to try to get their hand extremely low. And you would also Chip Chip Ice Axe, which would then take the top three cards of your deck and you can rearrange them. So you would basically make your opponent dead draw and basically win the game turn one without even attacking. So that was very cool. Now, the next um, Jirachi is a shiny Jirachi, Shining Jirachi from Shining Legends, which allowed you, which was very similar to Espeon EX, which allowed you to de evolve your opponent's Pokemon. And though it did 10 damage, and if your opponent's active Pokemon was an evolution card, you could devolve it, which was super useful because GXs were running rampant around then. So that was very, very cool. And you could, if you did enough damage, you'd just be able to devolve them and just knock them out, which was very, very cool. So. Wait, with Espeon, would you be able to do damage to their evolution card? And then, does it get so then you lose Espeon to de evolve it? And then no, Espeon, just knock Espeon it out. EX was basically similar to Jirachi, except it could do it to any one of your opponent's Pokemon that were Yeah, but still, could you like knock it out by doing that? Because you could do damage to it and then unevolve it, and then it would be it have no HP left, so it wouldn't just that be knocked out. Oh, that was, this is actually speaking of Espeon, there was a very interesting thing with Espeon GX, which you could do, hit it for weakness. Right, so you put a choice band on it, hit it for weakness for 80 damage, and then you de-evolve their active, and that would knock out the EV below it. So that was very interesting and very cool. So the next Jirachi, I have a lot of Jirachis here, is I actually have this one on me. It is the Jirachi Amazing Rare from Celestial Storm, which was a very, very interesting card. And uh, let me mention a few things about it. So. Once you return, if, if you took this Pokemon from your face down prize cards, this is an ability that it had, you may take another prize card. So this was a very cool gimmick. You would run it along with Zashi and V, along with the Mr. Mime from the uh, Detective Pikachu set, which allowed you to take your top card of your deck and put it in your prize cards. So what you do is you would uh, take Jirachi uh, along with a Ranguru from Sword and Shield, put it on the top of your deck, and then Mr. Mime to put it in your prize card so you could take extra prize cards when you take knockouts with Zashi and V. So that was just extremely, extremely cool, which uh, that's why I put it on the list here. So uh, let's get into the next Jirachi, which is the Jirachi from Team Up. I mentioned this before with the EX Jiraxis Jirachi, where you can look at the top five cards of your deck and pick a trainer card you find there. Nowhere near as good as the EX Deoxys Jirachi, but still an amazing card that saw a lot of play and still sees a lot of play right now. So what what you do, you'd run it with stuff like Greens Exploration and Welder to try to get Welder off, off your Jirachi or get Greens Exploration, which allowed you to search your deck for two trainer cards and put it into your hand which was super cool and it's also seen in a lot of single prize decks and it's a great way for you to get set up and get trainer so that's really really cool. The next Jirachi is um, Jirachi GX from Unified Minds which had the ability Psychic Zone which allowed it so that your psychic, your Pokemon with Psychic Weakness would no longer have Psychic Weakness. So that was played a lot with the Mewtwo Mew Tag Team GX from Unified Minds to block weakness from itself actually so that was very interesting. So that way you would not get knocked one hit KO'd by yourself. 
And now, recent, more recently, you would play it along with Urshifu, VMAX, uh, the Single Strike, and the Rapid Strike to try to block the Psychic Weakness from Mewtwo Mew on that as well, to try to stop it from one-hit KOing you. So that was, this is actually very interesting. It's actually something very recent that is happening right now. So, uh, the next card, our final card, is Jirachi Amazing Rare from Vivid Voltage. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting card and very awesome support Pokemon that allowed you to look at the top two cards of your deck and select any card you want there to put into your hand. It's like a weakened... Um, if you didn't know, we actually, uh, a while back, we pulled that card. Yes, I have an opening. Yeah, we have it here. Jirachi right Amazing Rare. Have a look at that. Very, I love these Amazing Rare cards. Yeah, They're the Amazing Rare so are really incredibly cool. cool. So, I like Kyogre. Kyogre's Kyogre dumb. Amazing Rare is pretty cool. Or Rayquaza. So basically what you do is, uh, it's like a dumbed down uh, EX Deoxys Jirachi, but it's still extremely good right now and it's seen in a lot of decks like Colossal to try to get more energy on you. It's also seen in amazing box decks, I'll play it along with, you know, Zacian, Zamazenta Amazing Rare, Raikou Amazing Rare, and all of those Amazing Rare cards to try to make an Amazing Rare combo along with Aurora Energy, so that's very cool. So. That's basically it for Jirachi. Overall, it's a very awesome Pokemon. It's not really good for attacking, but it's a great support Pokemon trying to get the cards that you need out of your deck. So uh, I really like Jirachi, so I hope you like my segment. See you in the see you in Jonas's. <laughs> Catch you guys in a second. All right, guys, let's talk about Charizard and things that are cool about Charizard. So the first Charizard, of course, came out in base at Charizard. It's in base at Charizard. <laughs> The first Charizard came out in the base set, which is uh, probably one of the most sought after cards right now. <laughs> it is going for well Charizard. over a hundred thousand dollars. No, yeah. maybe some not. Some people sell it. Maybe, some. you know, first edition yeah. Shadowless, you know, PSA 10, you know, Beckett 10. Those are, those where you're getting into the Millions. probably over a hundred thousand dollar sales. Yeah. yeah. So that's very, very cool and very awesome card. Um, um, the next Charizard we are going to talk about is... The Leon Charizard, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, about no, okay, okay. Before we get into Leon Charizard, let's talk about the other Charizards yeah, that have I also come really out. We got another. We got a reprint actually of the base set Charizard in, in base set XY. In base set two. <laughs> <laughs> and XY. <laughs> and XY evolutions. Yeah. So um, it was it was the exact same card. It's just a lot less Cheaper. expensive. Yeah. You also got a Charizard in uh, Rocket which was a uh, dark Charizard, which is now, it's not as expensive as base set or base set, uh, no, I think it's more expensive than the base set two Charizard. Definitely, but probably. It's, uh, it's still a really awesome artwork, really awesome looking card, and uh, If you were wondering, there is there is 40 different Charizards. I looked this up er earlier today. There's 40. 40 different Charizards. And also there was another Charizard in uh, Gym Hero or Gym Challenge, I'm not sure, called Blaine's Charizard, which is another oh, yeah, extremely expensive Charizard. Almost every Charizard <laughs> yeah. can go for over ten bucks, no matter where you're getting it from. Although most Charizards can, mo most Charizards like even go even more. even this Charizard right here from Vivid Voltage goes for know, like fifteen dollars. Goes for like fifteen bucks. <laughs> and then of course we have the very curious, very mystical, Char shiny Charizard V, which goes for like five hundred bucks. Three hundred. Yeah, three hundred. Isn't the Pikachu like more expensive than that? Yeah, it is. And so it went, the Charizard went, and the Pikachu went. Yep. And also, there was other Charizards out around then. I'm pretty sure there was a Charizard that came out in Expedition, which is a very cool artwork and actually one of my favorite Charizard artworks. I'm thinking about it right now in my brain because we obviously don't have Expedition Charizard. Yeah. But it's like soaring through the sky and it's like tilted like that, you know? <laughs> very interesting. Well, this guy very interesting like that. And also, there was a Charizard EX, the little lowercase EX. Oh, oh, from, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. From Fire Red Leaf Green. EX Fire there was Red Leaf also Green. Uh, the Mega Charizard Full Art, which is pretty expensive. Mega Charizard Full Art. I mean, yeah, I guess. That was pretty uh, expensive. Let's, <laughs> there's also way more Charizards. Obviously, like Charizard V Max. There's Charizard. There's Charizard G. There's Charizard, Charizard uh, level yeah. X. There's yeah. Charizard. There's t every almost every Charizard has one of every rarity basically. Yeah, pretty much. You know Charizard EX. There was actually this really interesting Charizard from Plasma, either Plasma around the Plasma era. So there was a Charizard X. Yes, there was a Charizard level X. Yes. But there was a Charizard around the Plasma era, around that black and white era. I'm not 100 percent sure. That was shiny. That was super cool. It was like a shiny Charizard. Isn't it like a shiny one like shiny? That's like. Or Shining Phase. We'll get into the Shining Phase. Yeah. But that was really cool. A really cool Shining Charizard. 
And there's also uh, one in Detective Pikachu. That, that side side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the promo. Char- there's a Charizard in Detective Pikachu. Yeah. And also, there was a ton of Flash Fire. Flash Fire is where Charizard really took off because it had the mega flash, form. Flash Fire. <laughs> it had the mega form. It had X and Y mega forms. And that was just super cool. And obviously, there's more Charizards. Charizard uh, got uh, a Mega Evolution in Evolutions, along as a, along with a semi reprint of the base set uh, Charizard, which was really cool. And then the Sun and Moon era, tons of Charizards. You had the we team have Charizard up- VMAX, uh, Charizard GX, Shiny Charizard GX. Yeah, tons of tag team. The Rushy Ram Charizard, Rushy which Ram- is actually on our play match. Ram, Rushy Ram Charizard. On our yeah, play you might see that in. Future videos. Yeah, future videos. Um, so, also, there was uh, the Team Up Charizard, which came out in the uh, theme deck, which was seen a lot, and uh, that's a really cool card. And that's pretty much it. Wasn't there a promo in, like... Uh, the tons of promos, tons of yeah, other tons stuff. Of stuff. And then also, Butler, Charizard. Charizard got a V form in Darkness Ablaze, which is very cool. Every different type of Charizard is in every different type of set. Now, I'm actually going to refer back to the Charizard. I'm from Vivid Voltage. I call it Leon's Charizard. I think this is Leon's Charizard. Yep. It does it does 100 plus. 50 more damage for each Leon in your prize, in yeah, your so discard. You can, you can do upwards of 300 damage yeah, that's with a this lot thing. Of damage. And if you played Leon that turn, you would be doing 330 damage, if I'm not wrong. Yes, because yeah. 50 times 4, yep, that would be 200. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of damage, I do believe. And you could also power it up with a single welder, which is very cool. Mm-hmm. And now let's talk about Charizard V. Uh, Charizard V, n- none of the Charizards are actually playable. Except like this one. Yeah, this one's a bit playable, and the Team Up one's a bit playable. But uh, Charizard is more collectible, I feel, than yeah. it is playable at all. Yeah. So that is very interesting. So, yeah, for example, Shiny Charizard V. I wonder careful, why careful. they made careful. Shiny Charizard V. Maybe because it's Charizard. There's also Charizard V Max Shiny. From Shiny Still Fates. Still hoping for the Charizard V Max Shiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hoping for the Shiny V Max Charizard. So, uh,. That's going upwards of a lot of money right now, so that'd be about a thousand. It's yeah, going down a, a bit, but that's all right. And that's pretty much it about Charizard. Overall, it's a pretty unplayable expensive card, card, but it is expensive, yes. So uh, mm-hmm. let's get right into the outro of this video. Catch you guys in a second. Thank you guys so much for watching. We 100% enjoyed making it, so we hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring, ring the, the bell. bell. Ding a ling 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 Make sure to check out this week's video where we have an awesome opening plan. Oh, also make sure to check out last week's video yep. with the battle styles Definitely. pre-release. This is actually doing one of our best videos yet. So yeah, it's good. I'd, so many. Videos. I'd recommend you checking also, it out. Also, thank you guys so much for subscribing. We really right, appreciate it. Right, thank you all yeah, so much really for subscribing. It. We've gained like five, four, five, six subscribers. And uh, Thank we, you guys really, so we really much. appreciate it. <laughs> it's really cool. So uh, I like to see this channel grow, and yeah, uh, same. I think everyone else would too. So uh, thank you for subscribing. Yeah. Also, make sure to check out our Twitter. Yup. J L underscore P K M N for behind the scenes stuff yep. and all the stuff that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So <laughs> make sure to follow our Twitter. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to talk about right now. Um, Thank you uh, so much for watching, and we will catch you in the next one. See See you later. later.